September 1st, 1989. Dear diary, I believe I'm a good person, you know, I think that there's a happy one, but um, here we are, first day of senior year, and uh, I'm talking about these kids that I've known all my life, and I ask myself, what happened?
like to be their boyfriend. That would be beautiful. I sat at their table, guys would notice me. So beautiful. I'd like them to be nicer. That would be beautiful. I'd like to kidnap a Heather and photograph her naked in an abandoned warehouse and leave her tied up with a rat. <laughs>
come to my homecoming party this weekend. Miss you, man. <gasps> Put an XO after the signature. What is this for anyway? I just found out that Graham used to hang with Martha Dumpshot. Well, <laughs> yeah, in kindergarten we all did. We all did a kiss on the kickball field. Oh, that's right, I remember. Graham kissed Martha Dumpshot. It was disgusting. Perfect. <laughs> It'd be so righteous to be in the middle of a Heather Chandler Veronica Sawyer sandwich. Hell <laughs> yeah, punch it in. Let me do talk to that, Florida. Oh, don't read it. She's having an extra heavy flow and wanted some advice from my gyno. Ew, bro! <laughs> what are you doing? Please don't do this, okay? No, not to Martha. What? It'll give her shower nozzle masturbation material for a week. Shut up, Heather! <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Martha has had a thing for Graham for like 12 years now, okay? This, this would kill her. Are we gonna have a problem? <laughs> You got a bone to pick? You've come so far, why now are you pulling on my dick? I thought I'd slap your face off, and everyone here could watch. But I'm feeling nice. Here's some advice. Listen up, biatch! Seniors, man, we're too old for that shit. Hey, sweetheart! 
What's your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? <laughs> My buddy Kurt just asked you a question. Hey, Graham, doesn't the cafeteria have a no bags allowed rule? Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. <laughs> <laughs> Why, when you see boys fight, does it look so horrible, yet feel so right? Oh, you shouldn't watch this crap, that's not who I am. Look at this kid. <laughs> Maybe I want more out of life than liverwurst, Mom. 
Africa. Those girls seem really nice. <laughs>
Dawn here, and let's motor! <laughs> Thank you. 
this girl some Westerberg spirit? Yeah. Martha! 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 Bring out the piñata! <laughs> Yeah. 
play for that. Heather! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god, I just killed my best friend! And your worst enemy. Difference! <laughs> I mean, the police are gonna think that I did this on purpose. Oh my god, they're gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin. <laughs> Unless. Oh, look! She was reading. The bell joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. You can fake her handwriting. Just make it sound deep, like this. I had pain in my path, like Sylvia Plath. My problems were myriad. I was having my period. <laughs> <laughs>
Chris started grabbing me and wouldn't stop. Oh. Wait, uh, after everything that happened at Ram's party, why did you call me? Oh, well, that was the deal. If I got you to come, Bert promised to leave me alone. <laughs> so, so you avoided date rape by volunteering me for date rape. <laughs> You make it sound ugly. <laughs> I'm leaving now. Ha, <laughs> 
I'm Veronica. Tell her to stop touching my stuff. Veronica! Veronica! Shut up, Pepper! You shut up! I don't have to shut up anymore! Hey, the tether scrum. Shut up, Heather. I'm sorry, Heather. Heather Chandler is gone. It's up to me to replace her. Replace Heather Chandler? Please. You need to worry less about me and more about your reputation. Curtin Ram had been telling the whole school about your little three-way last night. Three-way? Oh. No, there was no three-way. Nothing happened. I remember differently. I seem to remember there was a... Big sword fight in her mouth. <laughs> Big sword fight in her mouth. Thank you. 
we're filling it with these blue bullets. My granddad scored him in World War II. They contain this powerful tranquilizer. The Nazis used them to fake their own suicides when the Russians invaded Berlin. We used them to knock out Kurt and Ram just long enough to make it look like a suicide pact. Complete with a forged suicide note. Ram and I died because we had to hide our gay forbidden love. Certainly. My family has turned our town into a laughing stock. My boy Kurt isn't who I thought he was, and when I think he was sick, 
disgusting things that Gert and Ram were doing. You wait just a minute, Paul. <laughs> it is ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place our boys could not live in. They were not dirty. They were not wrong. Yes, my boys are homosexual, and that don't scare me none. I want the world to know. I love my dead gay son. <laughs>
She's the one that started that three-way rumor. I've been underlining meaningful passages in her copy of Moby Dick, if you know what I mean. No! No, I do not accept this. We've already killed three people. This ends right here, right now. Or what? I'll... I'll break up with you. Any war is casualties. Doesn't mean it's not worth fighting. What? What? You, you, you'd rather go to jail? Hmm? And, and give a free pass to the thugs who hurt people? Evil fucks! that make life so unbearable that you can't stand to live in the world anymore. Jay! How did your mother die? You really want to know? Yeah. My dad said it was an accident. But she knew what she was doing. She walked into that building two minutes before Dad blew it up. She waved at me out the window, and then, kaboom, she left me. I'm really sorry. I... It's okay. The pain gives me clarity. You and I are special. We have a lot of work to do. What oh, work? Making the world a decent place for people who are decent. When does it end? When every asshole is dead! Fine, we're damaged. Really damaged, but that does not make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. We don't choose who lives or dies. Let's be normal. See bad movies. Sneak a beer and watch TV. We'll bake brownies or go bowling. Don't you want a life with me? Can't we be sentient? It's all I want to do. Or they 
You know exactly what he is, and you love it. Stop talking. Only a true dead best friend would give it to you straight. Veronica, I need your help. Sure. What? Something doesn't add up. I think Rand and Kurt were murdered. Well, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Woo! <laughs> No, look, I had to hurt her, okay? If J.D. caught her going through his stuff, he would kill her? Is that what you're afraid of? I thought the Desperado hung up his six guns. Don't you trust him? I will look everywhere for him. Right. Veronica, there you are. I need to throw the place for the assembly. Oh, oh right, this thing, Christ. Oh, I can't tell the battle. Come on now, show the battle. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast?
with despair. I've been going to call, chopped off my hair. I chant, I pray, the God's not there. So see, I'm ending our affair. <laughs> that I faked it every time. Valuable TV 
with my girlfriend. <laughs> well, you know the rules, young man. When company's over, the bedroom door stays open. So the judge, God bless him, told those Glen Miller groupies to slap shit and die. Oh, you should see the fireworks. I got it all right here on video. I packed the upper floors with thermals, set off the whole thing with a Norwegian in a boiler room. Kaboom! <laughs> right back. I'm going to want my drawstring pants for this. Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it! No firearms in the house! Why are you carrying a gun? <gasps> it pissed off my dad. It was funny. No, it's not funny. None of this is funny. You're carrying a loaded weapon. You promised me. It's a dangerous world. Yeah, because of you. Mm. You know what? Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Veronica! No, you don't understand the difference between right and wrong. Come on! Wrong. Come back! No, we're I love wrong. you!
their spirit. That's from Moby Dick. I appreciate a well-read woman. What's in the envelope? Oh, crap. Just a tangible reminder that at one point at around age six, I'm guessing, you and Martha Dunstock were friends. Where'd you get these pictures? Did Veronica give them to you? What do you want, money? A favor. No way. Oh, I really love this one of you and Martha in the bathtub together. <laughs> these photos are ancient history. Nobody cares about the past. Nobody cares about Martha Dump Truck. There was a boy I met in kindergarten. He was sweet. He said that I was smart. He was good at sports and people liked him. And at nap time once we shared a nap. I didn't sleep. I sat and watched him breathe. Uh, <laughs> watched him dream for nearly half an hour. Then he woke up. <laughs> he pulled a scab off one time playing kickball. Kissed me quick, then pressed it in my hand. I took that scab and put it in a locket.
try to sign it in the dweebs and losers. I'm not signing that. Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? It was your boyfriend's idea. You Jimmy. He made up the signature sheet and everything. Hold on. Look, I, I don't know what JD is up to, but if you know what's good for you, please just throw that away. Not a chance. I'll just bake your signature like I did with Martha Dump Truck. <clears throat> She's in no shape to sign anything today. Why not? It was on the radio. She took a belly flop off the old mill bridge last night, holding a suicide note. Oh my god. <gasps> Well, just some broken bones. Just another geek trying to imitate the popular people and failing miserably. No, girl, keep it together. I knew you would come far. Now you're truly a Heather. Smell how gangster you are. <laughs> It's punchy, but she's not looking so well. Still, you heard that we're scrunchy. Come join Heather in hell. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Your friend JD stopped by. He told us everything. Everything? Your depression, your thoughts of suicide. He even showed us your copy of Moby Dick. <laughs> He's got your handwriting down cold. Please, honey, talk to us. You wouldn't understand. Try me! Look, I've experienced everything you're going through right now. I know it all seems impossibly dramatic. Guess who's fighting the block? The problems seem like life and death. Guess who's fighting the stairs? I promise they're not. Guess who's picking the block? You don't know what my world looks like. Time's up.
not fight anymore, please. Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, oh, you're scared of oh, me. Yeah, I can set you free. Veronica, oh, don't be
Dear diary, the irony of this is that I never got to write my own suicide note. <laughs> Smart girl. Bring the trigger bomb out here to the football field and nobody dies. Except you. You keep holding on to that thing. I don't deserve to live. I respectfully disagree. Give it to me. Stay away from me. Or what? I am damaged. Far too damaged. But you're not beyond repair. Stick around here. Make things better. Because you beat me fair and square. Please stand back now. A little further. <laughs> Don't know what this thing will do. Hope you miss me. Wish you kissed me. Then you'd know I worship you. I'll trade my life for yours. Oh my God. I miss you. I'd be honored. 